Hajime Mashita, and welcome back to more Op Rainfall Plays Persona 4 Golden with your host, Benny Creel, one of the contributors to the site. Um, let's see here, last time on Persona 4 Golden, um, let me actually look at my notes real fast, because I just woke up and I forgot. Uh, we watched the Midnight Channel, we all saw a woman in the kimono, we thought it was Yukiko, but at the same time, well... We find out it wasn't her, and she was okay at the hot spring in thingy. We also then found out that basically she is in charge of that damn thing. Well, actually, we already learned that in the previous episode. But she's been really busy, and I still feel really bad for her because of that. So, with uh, uh, that being said, let's start the save data for episode 8. And, um, we were going to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Sorry. Good night, Nanako. Let's go up the stairs. Train again tonight. We're gonna check out the Midnight Channel. Also, we might actually stop by the Velvet Room. And, uh, see if anything's to be gleaned from there. Something appear on TV. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. What? Okay, there's no doubt. Not to mention, holy balls! <laughs> That's it, we're going right in there right now. Hey, did you see that? Yosuke, get your gear on. We're going for a fight. That was Yukiko san for sure. It looked like her, I mean, she even said her name. Oh god, how's she gonna be able to show her face at school on Monday? But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? I don't think contacting Yukiko is going to do us much good. Contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko-san. Ah, also, we should play the best friend angle. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. No! Go now! Promise to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight. Well, then again, maybe it's not a good idea to go fighting if we're completely exhausted. Sunday, the 17th of April. It is sunny. How day it is. Nobody's here? Hey, Nanako! Oh, good morning. Oh, hi, gozaimasu. It seems that only Nanako is here. You're up early today. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. Ah. Oh. He said he's gonna be late. <sighs> Damn it, Dojima. If you leave, Nyanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I am, I'm sorry. I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Rainy is all hell. Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Yeah. Uh, we decided to go out. I'm sorry, Nyanako. N next week, maybe next week, we'll, we'll hang out and... Uh, I'll help you with the housework. Sorry for the hold up. The hell have you been, man? One of our friends is possibly gonna die or at least be completely embarrassed, and you decide to wake up late? Mr. Sir Pieces Pants, you are an asshole. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Oh, well, never mind, you're cool. Take a look at these. He, he... We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. I, I'm just gonna point out, he just pulled two sword, a wakazashi and a sword out. A katana, I'm assuming. 
And right behind the girls is looking like, what the fuck is wrong with so, you? Which one strikes your fancy? Oh, the Nata. Okay, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I realize that half of you are probably all screaming at me just right now. Um. Hmm. I'll take the Nata. I knew it. I had a feeling you'd go for this one. It looks brutal, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? If you hurt yourself, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Or like this? What about this? Oh shit, run! Police! Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. God damn it, Yosuke. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. I don't know him. I've never seen him before in my life. In fact, I don't know that he pees his pants. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! Uh, but this isn't... Y Yosuke, you fucking moron! Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You were taken to the police station with Yosuke's subject. Wow! So much for saving Yukiko, you asshole! <laughs> You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. I didn't do anything! You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. I know, I know, but you're not supposed to tell him that I know. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Now this would have ended up on your permanent record. Alright, I'll give that to you. You did me a solid, but with the love of God, will you go say hi to Nyanako? We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Shit! Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. Shut up, Yosuke. Dojima, start, go look for Yukiko. She's missing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Hey, Dodgy. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Maybe. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? God damn it. No! Yosuke, shut up! It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um... Am I allowed to say? That means yes. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? No, but she is currently going through a very difficult situation. Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamana, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. Shit. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? 
No. Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Oh god, hopefully nobody saw Midnight Channel, even though I know they did. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Oh god damn it. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Thanks for the tips, Adachi. You're a good man. Okay, now let's go find Chie and go to the friggin' TV world, because you're an idiot. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... <clears throat> there you are! Lady Blackheart, thank God. Jeez, what are you guys doing? We got arrested because Sir friggin' pees his pants here and decided to wave around some swords in public. Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. It's understanding my ass. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Okay, let's go to Juness. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. That's one way of putting it. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Um, actually, they're just kind of doing their job in that case. They have to look at it just so they can disprove it. Dude, don't snap at me! Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Hmm. Look, we need to save her. Right! That's the important thing! With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to! Damn straight you are. And that's final! I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. That's right. We need you to transform into your CPU form and kick some ass. Wait, you don't have that ability in this world. God damn it. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. To my bedroom, where my closet is full of weapons. Holy hell, what did we walk into? Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Replica shop? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? She's into kung fu movies. What kind of stupid question is that? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Okay, that's a better explanation. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. It also might be expensive as fuck. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. You can come might die from this for crying out loud. I'm gonna side with Chie on this one. I understand Yosuke's trying to be uh, trying to sympathy empathetic, but, um... Yeah, no, this ain't gonna work this time. I'm going, and that's that! This sounds horrible. I know it's not this. Um, this sounds horrible. You know what? I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. 
All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Especially after that stunt you just pulled. I see 5,000 bucks. We basically got $50. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. Then we're buying some really small weapons. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Chie, bring some potion. Bring some net bull. Da da da. Oh, okay, yeah, that is Daidarda. I'm sorry, I was staring at the at uh, the uh, hiragana, going, "Is that actually Daidarda?" It was the E that was following me, following me, uh, throwing me off there. I was talking to Daidarda. If you want something special, bring me your materials, and I'll try to use them for you. I'm always learning new things and trying new techniques, so bring me some rare materials that I've never seen before. If you do that, I can make you some really cool stuff. When choosing what to create, the number and type of materials varies. For me, the proper materials, I can use them to create some fine pieces of art for you. But what I make is up to me. I'm the artist here, after all. I'll be expecting some praise, too. Now, he considers himself an artist. Well, we got our... Yeah, that's expensive. That's expensive, too. Um, let's see, what armor can we buy? We've got... Holy crap! Oh, okay, we can buy two of those. What do we got for accessories? Okay, well, let's do this. Let's buy... Yes. Yeah, let's sell the t-shirt. We don't need a t-shirt. T-shirts aren't cool. Unless they have the pictures of the goddesses on them. Alright, let's see. Eh, let's not sell the wristwatch. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Is that? There's a bizarre door in front of you. No one can see it. The others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Igor! Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. We have been expecting you. You! You're that girl from before! The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. The power of persona. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Your Persona ability is that of the Wild Card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. 
R right, we went over this before, Margaret. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. Okay. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the Magician's social link with Yosuke. It seems when a persona of the Magician Arcana is used, the persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Will do. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> you. Marie? And your hat. <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. This girl is unfriendly. And we feel that we've met her somewhere before, but I know we have. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. But then you tell me! As you can see. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Okay. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Okay. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? Which ones? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. So basically we have a year to solve this mystery. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Alright, we are leaving the Velvet Room. Alright, how's that all done? It is now 23 minutes. I need to do one thing real fast because I was an idiot and did not do it. Headband is equipped. Okay, well. Let's save the game. And then next time on Operating Fall Plays Persona 4 Golden, we will go ahead and um, head to Juness. As we prepare to go rescue Yukiko. Poor kid. I have a feeling she's been repressing quite a bit of things. She's also definitely under a lot of stress, but hopefully we can save her in time. I hope. Jamata everyone.